why you should stop using Facebook ads. Hello everyone and welcome to On How Channel. My name is Enes and I'm working for you. And as I always start the video, if you have any questions or any video requests, you can find my Instagram in the description box or just drop me a comment below. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should stop using Facebook ads. And also, is there a better alternatives for Facebook ads? Well, there is a plenty, but I will not go through all of them right now because there is a lot, but I will talk about the best one which is Google AdWords. So let's just start with Facebook for example. Facebook, when you do advertise on Facebook, how the client or the customer sees your ads. Well, once he's watching a video or scrolling through pictures or friends or what I'm talking about here. Facebook does not have cool videos or pictures of friends. Facebook is all disasters. Videos of earthquake, videos of theft. Facebook is a mess. So once that person watching an earthquake video, suddenly he got an ad for a hiking shoes, for example. Well, there is a very small chance that he might buy those hiking shoes because he was watching an earthquake video. That's why on Facebook ads, the conversion rate is really low. So you will need to run multiple ads set so you can get the winning one. And also, that's not the problem with Facebook ads. Also, the banning waves and so on, they start banning accounts out of nowhere for no reasons. So as I said, the client or customer watching a video, suddenly he got an ad for a hiking shoes. Well, he is not interested in hiking shoes. Maybe he did search for a hiking shoes a month ago. That's why Facebook is spying on him in his recording, his activities. So he knows that he might be interested in your hiking shoes that you are selling but he is not. On the other part, on Google AdWords, well, that's a different story because there is two types of uh, advertisements on Google. The first one, which is the advertisements on website for the impressions or clicks. And the second one is advertising on Google search engine. For example, if you did search for something in Google search engine, if you don't have AdBlock extension on your browser, you should see an ad on the first result, right? So that person that's running ads, he's running ads for a specific keyword to run on the first result. So let's just get back to our customer here. So for example, if he, if he goes to Google search engine and starts searching for hiking shoes, he will see your ad at the first result. And the second result may be another ad, depends on the bid and also the cost. And the third result is the actual website that's not an ad. So he did pass through all of them. He did not click on any ad or any link from the ads and he did access the actual website, which is not an advertisement. Well, in this case, you don't pay anything because you do pay Google search engine for the click and it's called CPC, which stands for cost per click. So basically you do pay Google search engine by a click. So when a person search for a keyword and he did not access your ads, he sees your ads and scroll down to another website and access it, you do not pay anything and you do not lose money. And like Facebook ads, so on Facebook ads, if he sees your ads, well, you're gonna pay for it, definitely. So the first advantage when you advertise on Google search engine is you do not lose money for impressions. You do pay for the click. And the second advantage here is when that person accessed your website, he was not watching an earthquake video just like he was on Facebook. No, he did search actually for hiking shoes. And there is nothing special about hiking shoes that you might say he wants to scroll through them and see the pictures. Hiking shoes, they are all the same. The difference in maybe at the bottom of the, of the shoe, he needs to be made of the rubber or something so he can climb and hike and so on. So he wants to buy those hiking shoes. That's why he's searching for it in Google search engine. So when he did access your website, there is a big chance that he might buy it. But that actually depends on the product on your store. For example, if you did add a really good hiking shoes, high quality and also reasonable price, well, he will definitely buy it because he was actually searching for it to buy it. That's the difference between Google search engine and Facebook ads. On Google search engine, you get to really target really well. And you might say that Google AdWords is expensive. Well, definitely for, for some keywords, yes, it is expensive. But there is some keywords that they don't have even the bid. And I will go through them in my next video because there is a lot of keywords people search for it on a Google search engine. And there is some keywords that trending 
maybe seasonally or yearly or maybe once a year or two years they don't even have the bid because people they don't know them advertisers they don't recognize these keywords but actually people are searching for them even google search engine when you go to a keyword planner and type in this keyword they will say no nobody's searching for these keywords because they didn't register the data yet and registering keywords data on google search engine for keyword planner, for example, it takes two months at least to register all the data and the searches from people. And this is from personal experience. I did find some keywords, I did advertise on them, and the competition was zero. I was maybe, I can't remember exactly, but I was paying for maybe 10 cents for a click. And that's actually a keyword for a product. And for example, 100 clicks, you will pay $10 and it's really good because $10 for 100 clicks and the minimum conversion rate on Google search engine for advertising is 20% and as I said there is a big potential for keywords that trend in on TikTok and other social media platforms that advertisers and competitions don't even know or recognize so stop using Facebook ads it's really a mess and also pain in the ass to be honest I stopped using it maybe six months ago I did try other platforms but the best one I did discover is Google search engine and in the future I will make an in-depth video and I will show some really good examples and you will get a really good idea so you can run your stores on Google search engine so as I said in the beginning guys if you have any questions about this make sure to check out my Instagram or just leave me a comment below and if you did find any value in this video please hit that like button I would really appreciate it and thanks for watching and catch you on next one